Apprehend is a new and effective tool for control and prevention of bedbug infestations. This video module covers the strategic application of Apprehend for bedbug infestations with an integrated pest management approach. For best results, Apprehend should be used in combination with other proven methods of bedbug control. Apprehend is not intended for use on mattresses or surfaces that come into regular direct human contact. It is not effective on carpet and should not be applied to hard flooring surfaces as it may prevent a slipping hazard. Given these limitations, alternative products and control methods should be used in these areas in combination with the application of Apprehend. Suitable complementary products and techniques that can be implemented in combination with Apprehend include the following. Mattress encasements, vacuuming, cryonite, steam and chemical products that are approved for application to areas that come into direct human contact. Laundering and drying of all bedding items. Treatment of seating surfaces with vacuuming, cryonite, steam or approved chemical products. Use of dust products for application around baseboard areas, particularly under carpet edges. Apprehend is an excellent follow-up after heat treatment and can be applied as soon as the surface cools to hand hot or below. After heat, it is only necessary to treat key areas such as beds and nightstands to prevent re-establishment, as any escaped bed bugs will head to these areas in search of a blood meal. The next series of slides will cover the process of assessment of a room for bedbug activity and how to implement strategic application of Apprehend for optimal bedbug control. Decisions made by the PCO on placement of the barriers are critical to the success of the treatment. Let's just remind ourselves about how this product works. Apprehend is sprayed in narrow two inch bands around the areas where bedbugs are known to walk. The spray barrier dries quickly and is invisible, but contains millions of tiny spores which stick to the surface where they are applied. When a bedbug crosses the barrier, the spores stick to the bedbug in the same way that sand sticks to wet feet. When the bedbug returns to its harborage, the spores are easily transferred from bedbug to bedbug by direct contact. Every bedbug that comes into contact with the fungal spores will go on to die within 3 to 10 days. Only a 2 inch barrier is needed. If a bed bug crosses this, they will go on to die. Let's look at our perfectly prepped room and point out the typical bed bug harbourages. Behind the headboards, in the joints of the bed frame, under the bed frame or box spring, in and behind the bookshelf, in and behind chests and in the closet, behind wood mouldings, in air vents, behind electrical switches and wall outlets, in chairs, inside electronics etc, behind the baseboards. Apprehend is not intended for direct spray application to visible bed bugs. While direct spra spray application will certainly result in rapid death of the bed bugs that are directly hit, this is not the most economic use of the product and is not necessary to achieve complete control. The key to using Apprehend effectively and economically is to ensure that the areas around beds and furniture are treated with a continuous 2 inch barrier so that bed bugs emerging from their harbourages must cross the barrier while seeking a blood meal. Let's look at some individual furniture items to identify where Apprehend barriers should be applied. Bed bugs colonising a bed frame only need to emerge from their harbourage and cross a short section of the frame to gain access to the mattress. To ensure that these bed bugs will come into contact with a spray barrier, remove the mattress and apply an apprehend barrier around the entire inside perimeter of the wooden bed frame. Next, protect the outside of the bed by applying a continuous spray barrier around the entire outward facing perimeter of the bed and each bed leg. Any bed bugs attempting to access the bed from underneath the bed or other areas of the room will have to crawl up the legs of the bed and cross the barriers around the sides of the bed. Headboards are favoured harbourage locations. Apprehend should be applied as a spray barrier around the entire perimeter of the back of the headboard. 
This will ensure that any bedbugs emerging from crevices or screw holes will have to cross the perimeter barrier to gain access to the human in bed. In this example, spray is also applied around the legs of the bed and the perimeter of the bed frame. Bed bugs frequently establish harbourages under the dust cover at the base of a box spring. Colonies can often be found in the gaps between the staples that hold the dust cover on the frame. Harbourages may also be established inside the void of the box spring. The application of a spray barrier around the perimeter of the base will ensure that any bed bugs leaving the harbourage, either from within the void or under the dust cover, will be exposed to the fungal spores. Any bed bugs attempting to access the bed from other areas will have to crawl up the legs of the bed, if present, or the sides of the box spring. These bed bugs are targeted by applying a continuous spray barrier around each bed leg and the entire outward facing perimeter of the box spring. If the box spring has a bed skirt, this must be removed and laundered and is best not replaced until the remedial treatment is complete. The top surface of the box spring should be checked for damage or holes where the bed bugs could emerge and avoid the barriers at the bottom and sides of the box spring. The application of a perimeter spray around the top edge of the box spring will provide additional protection. Heavily infested or badly damaged box springs should be discarded. Cabin beds have multiple potential harbourages where bed bugs can establish, so more product will be required for treatment of this kind of bed. If drawers are present, these should have been emptied as part of the preparation protocol. Spray the interior and exterior perimeter of each drawer. Remove the mattress and apply Apprehend around the entire inside perimeter of the bed frame where the mattress sits. Here, the bunkie board is left in place, so the spray barrier hits the edge of the board and the internal perimeter of the bed frame in a single barrier. Finally, any bed bugs attempting to access the bed from other areas of the room will have to crawl up the sides of the bed. These bed bugs are targeted by applying a continuous spray barrier around the exterior, outward facing perimeter of the bed. Always try to keep the spray barrier as low as possible around beds to reduce the chances of the barrier being inadvertently removed by contact with bed clothes or people as they get into bed. Always check other items of furniture for signs of bed bug activity. Spray all items that have evidence of bed bug infestation, applying a perimeter barrier to ensure that the bed bugs leaving their harbourages in these items will come into contact with the spray residue. When treating sofas or couches, remove the cushions and spray apprehend barriers where they are least likely to be disturbed or removed by human contact, such as the base area under the cushions. Flip the sofa over so that you can access the area underneath where the dust cover is attached to the frame and apply a perimeter barrier around the edges of the dust cover. This will ensure that any bed bug emerging from under the dust cover or from inside the frame will become exposed to the spray residue. If bed bug activity is visible or suspected in or behind wooden mouldings, spray barriers should be applied to ensure that bed bugs emerging will encounter the treated surface. Apply a spray barrier along the top edge of baseboards. The barrier should be positioned so that any bed bugs emerging from behind the baseboard have to cross a portion of the barrier regardless of whether it runs up the wall or down the baseboard to the floor. Use the same application strategy for door and window frames and any wooden mouldings where bed bug activity is suspected. Do not apply Apprehend to wallpaper. Apply Apprehend spray barriers around light fittings, electrical outlets and air vents so that any bed bugs emerging from these inaccessible areas must cross the treated barrier. Finally, just as a reminder, Apprehend is a biological product and will be adversely affected by heat and humidity. Store your product in a cool, dry place. Don't leave the product in your vehicle where it could be exposed to temperatures above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Always shake the bottle to resuspend the spores in the formulation before transferring to the spray bottle for application. Apprehend is ready to use. Never add water as this will cause the spores to germinate and will reduce the residual activity of the spray barrier to just one day. 
That completes this training section on the strategic application of Apprehend. A separate training module detailing the use of the specifically designed spray application kit is available on this site. Once you have completed all the training modules, you're ready to try out this new tool in bedbug management for yourself. Don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.